This is 50.com. Live on location, feeling good. The Heineken is here. Whoop! Got my boy sitting towards my left. They was here before me. Counting the chips, me. Let them know who you are. Let them know where you represent right now, man. King Jux, coming King. out of the Bronx. BX, man. Ready. How's the BX treating you? Because, you know, y'all been having that crazy music explosion with A Boogie. Fat Joe is back on a new level. Cardi B. How yeah. you feeling? Rep your, your borough talking nah, differently. I feel real good to see that, you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good to see anybody winning, especially from the Bronx. You know, that's where it all started. Because, so. you know, they quick to say, yo, you know, the Bronx is always hood and dirty out yeah. there. Uh, one thing I'll give it credit is, out of all the boroughs, the girls pop off there the quickest. Ain't no waiting on her. <laughs> I've been in every hood. Yeah. But, like, talk about your music, man. Like, being from the Bronx, King Jux. That's a crazy name to have in 2020, man. Yeah, man. Nah, <laughs> King Jux, that's my name, you know? It's about taking what's yours but flipping it, like, instead of just robbing motherfuckers mm. and running down on them. It's about, you know, really with getting what's yours. So, it's that bag, if it's that opportunity, you run down on it, you got a Jux that, you know what I'm saying? Take you ever it. felt any resistance? Because, you know, dudes that know the, the terminology behind it sometimes, you might. I get, get... a lot of questions. But, mm -hmm. I mean, when they see me, it's like, they, they chop it up with me, then they know what it is, because. I'm intellectual, like, I'm yeah. actually vibing in a different vibration, so mm -hmm. they be asking a question, then I flip it on them, they're like, well, I fuck with it. You know? oh, okay. Yeah. And so, like, now as you presenting your music, coming from the Bronx, and doing what you're doing, like, when people, how do how would a person get a, an understanding of King Jux's musically? Take, take me on a tour on how your musical presentation, if I, I'm a, if I go on Spotify and I search your name, how does the yeah. rollout of the playlist come out? Well, you definitely got to take time out to check out all of my music, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And once you assess that, you're going to see that um, I'm very diverse with it. Like, mm -hmm. I got a lot of different skills. My skill set is crazy. Like, I'm not just rapping one way, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely talking about something. I'm bringing content to the table, but I also, you know, keep that rhythm and that flow. So, um, that's what I'm about, the music. It's killing it like that. That style, that that um, desire to you know be multiverse and how yeah. you present your music. Yeah. That's all yeah. from the Bronx. So you was traveling places because my eyes started open up going to different boroughs. Yeah, especially before the internet, I'm like, ah, this is how Harlem moves. This is how Queens move. You know, yeah. it's a different world. This is how Brooklyn. Moves. Well, I just be around so many different kinds of people. So mm -hmm. like, you know, I take all those influences in. You know, what I'm saying I'm also Nigerian. You know, what I'm saying mm -hmm. so from that, you know, the household. You know, just getting all those influences. Even though I was born in New York, both my parents are yeah, Nigerian. So I get, I get the, the, the influence. Me, the School, influence. doctor, lawyer, yeah, engineer. I know. <laughs> you know how I go, so. Anything else is like you failed. Yeah, like, what? I'm the black sheep of it. You know what I'm me saying? Me too. But when you do what you love, man, it's like no one can tell you nothing, man. You just gotta make sure you're diligent with it, and like you really go hard for it. You don't, you don't slap. You know what I'm saying? Give them no reason to be like I told you. So like, if you really want to do it, then you just go for it. How do you feel about the negative stigma Nigerians and Africans get? Because they always saying, y'all the scamming capitals, scamming gods, you feel me? But the positive is, y'all work hard, y'all yeah. bought y'all When I used, to, I used to work at Port Authority as a high school, I was in high school, mm -hmm. anytime the Nigerians come, they never carried wallets. They'd always have nothing but hundreds in a white envelope. That's crazy. My last song is called No Wallet. That's how I get to the money. I don't need a wallet. Yo, yo one like that I swear to you, B, I used to charge for overweight bags. I'm like, yo, 60. Them niggas bust up. It's like an insult to carry anything less than 100. Yeah. Now we get to the money. Yeah. Man. We bought our money in business. You but know like, speaking like, about this. Yeah, there's, there's a small community that be on their scam and shit, but that's like anybody in, anybody. in, 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 in any race, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So. That's the stereotypes. Most of the Nigerians and Africans, you know, are working hard. Hard working. They come Pride. from a place where the opportunities aren't always there. So mm -hmm. when they come to America, it's like, I got to get busy. So I watch my mom, like, really give it up. You know what I'm saying? Nah, uh, it'd be the show. Yeah, so that's the work I think I take with me into with, this music shit. With Afro beats exploding, have you said to, my, said to yourself, like, let me incorporate this in a way, even though I'm from the X and it's about being straightforward with the rhymes being gritty? Man, I'm from the X, but tell you the truth, bro, like, I'm not gonna lie, my music is 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 worldwide, it's universal, mm. bro. I rock with a live band, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. I'm on some Most Def slash Jay-Z, Nick and Paul slash Kendrick, 
So I, I really get it in. With you sound like you got an engineering background. Nah. Just the, the way you're talking about certain elements of your performance, it's, it's people that are into in tune with the sound a certain way. It's UG engineering. Stay around masters of their craft, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So that's just who I stay around. I soak all that game up. And I get busy. As you're coming up in this hip hop game, and you know you're attacking it the way you're doing. Any things that discourage you that make you be like, man, I don't want to deal with this shit. Dude. Every single day. Every single if I day. if I was going to keep it real, you know what I'm saying? That's I, I feel you. Because you know the industry right now is about the glamour and glitz and mm -hmm. everything's up. You know what I'm saying? But most of the time, shit is down for our artists. You know what I'm saying? The all creators. Mm -hmm. So you really have to like watch the industry, see what's happening, find your lane. And then, you know, just get in where you fit in. What is it you enjoy about the industry coming up the way, like certain, you know, opportunities or elements of it? First of all, I love to see my people win. Anybody mm -hmm. that I've ever met, even if it's just for a brief second, mm -hmm. if I interacted with you and then I see you elevating and getting further. That shit's motivating. I love I'm it, like, bro. yeah, getting it. Because yeah. when I see that, I'd be like, he's showing the blueprint. Yeah. So there's a, the door is open for people like us. Yeah. I'd be hyped when I see that. You know, motivating, I mean? definitely, it's definitely inspiring. So I love that mm -hmm. first and foremost, and then um, just seeing dope shit. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, I, being I, moved by by good music. You know, um, albums that you, if you was sitting there to yourself, like these are the albums that encompass who I am, that made me want to get into the music or artists that, like these these elements embody me, King Jooks. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Nas. Yeah, I, I can uh, see you like Nas, man. Like I, I yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah, definitely Nas, Illmatic, Illmatic, and um, still Matic. Yeah, yeah, all his, all his catalog was definitely those early ones. It, it was got written. Me, yeah, got me started. Um, definitely Prince in my household. You know what I'm mm. saying? As well as, like, will help me be diverse. You know what I'm mm. saying? With the music and being a creative. Definitely Prince. Um, That's an interesting dynamic. Yeah. It makes sense when you when you blend it together. Yeah. It all makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going through the sounds <laughs> in my mind. I'm like, yeah, oh shit. Yeah, yeah. Nah, I like I like hell shit, man. I like motherfuckers that really get it in with get the music in. And, and create like masterpieces. I see you got your man's right here, and the yeah. crew is right there in the set. How important are they to your come up? You know, give them some some light, man, because you know. One thing, this industry, people make it seem like they got all the jump shots by themselves. And, mm -hmm. and no lit dude did it by themselves, man. And I don't understand why this new ideology is, you know, I, nobody helped me. I'm like, that's not how that goes. Yeah. Man, that's just a hashtag, really. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's just something for people to just, you know, run with. But in actuality, like, you can't do nothing on your own. Not at all. Like, you could be a superstar, you need you still need fans in the mm -hmm. crowd to watch you do what you do. And, so it's like And you need high quality and high level people. Yeah. Because when you're trying to do it really big and you're trying to get somewhere, even if it's somebody that's not famous, you need somebody that know how to get the money the right way. Yeah. Or know how to talk to people the right way. Yeah. Like I got a family member, his his best talent is celebrities love him. So he can always make a play. Yeah. Like they'll see him. And then they'd be like, yo, come hang out with me. You know how to move through the room. Yes, and that's at a high level. So I see your crew with you, you know, I just want to do whatever, you know, if they want to say some words or you want to big up who they are and what they do, yeah, man. So Frenchy Entertainment. So Frenchy! I mean, this guy's real good. persistent, man. Hey, I'm Peter from So Frenchy. Mm -hmm. I came from France, but I moved here like, like 10 years ago now. Yo, it's gangster in France, man. Y'all guys be looting, robbing, revolutionaries. Oh, it's gangster. It's not gangster giving... it's gangster. Nah, 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 nah. It's, it's, there's certain places it's more than others. Oh. It's gangster over there. Oh. Okay, it's gangster. <laughs> like, just like Montreal, where yeah. all the gangster Haitians is at. Yeah, oh, I learned my lesson quick over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. You know, we grew up over here, you know. Yeah, we moved true. to New York to try to get this dream come true. And how does some um, Frenchie so, help you in getting things done on jokes? Mm, on jokes, you know, I met jokes by to my friend from Smoking Gun. Okay. You know, from Los, my big bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah, through him, I met jokes, nice. and you know, I be we actually fucking with Los, so I be fucking with jokes because they're already together. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to push with my connection with everything out there. You know what I mean? I got, yeah. a, I got a lot of connection overseas too, so I'm trying to put everything together and try to put you know, so jokes can feel comfortable. 
Yeah, me and Los linked up, you mm. know what I'm saying? And um, from there, the relationship grew. He's kind of the glue of all the people here right now. Mark Wells in the building. Mm -hmm. You know, he's instrumental, you know, bringing in the energy. That's and, like, important, you know, man. Yeah, yeah, bro. That vibe, like, people don't be understanding, yeah. man. Like, if, especially if you don't know how to fight through bad vibes, you need somebody that know how to settle the storm. Mm -hmm. Give you perspective, mm -hmm. tell you like, yo, this is how you're gonna maneuver yeah. jerks. And even if play. you do, you still need, still need it, still need it, cause it's like you gotta play off each other. Everybody play a role, mm -hmm. like, so like ball, you know what I'm saying? So oh, you gotta, you know, that's how it goes, bro. So everybody plays their role. It's a, um, it's a journey, bro, but I love it. What's so far on your journey? What's been a like uh, inspiring or iconic moment? Whether it's meeting somebody or. You just being in the studio and you came up with a dope concept or anything. Even if your mom's yeah, gave yeah, you a yeah. hook, because it sounds like she be she be <laughs> dancing to the music. Yeah, she dancing <laughs> in the heaven. My mom's past, you know oh, what I'm saying? Oh But nah, that's the inspiration that keeps me going. So I always, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, put that out there. Like if it wasn't for her, who knows, I'd probably stop doing music and creating because it's like I don't just do music, I also film and do other things as well, you know what I'm saying? That's, but yeah. she's the energy that keeps me going going you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. that's definitely the energy that keeps me going but as far as highlights go like man um shit one time me and los was in um jungle studios and alicia keys walked out of nowhere like she just, and she like at least just walked in right now out of nowhere and mm -hmm. surprised you everyone like, oh shit okay. it's alicia like yeah she said what's up to us she was mm -hmm. very like humble and polite and everything like her energy was angelic, so that was dope, you know what I'm saying? Because she's one of my favorite artists as far as that's, that's on b goes, you know? Because, you know, when you run into energy like that, it's, it, it's like almost like a cologne. Yes. It yes. starts, you keep running into people. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah it man. feel good, man. You know, yeah. and it, it motivates everybody. I still remember when I ran into Hove in the, in the elevator, and that shit was just weird. Yeah. But it's serendipity, it lets you know keep going. Like, mm -hmm. you could have been anywhere in the world, but in that moment, you was right there. So, you know, it keeps you going. Any, anything you dislike in this industry that you would, would want to check? Yeah, I, I feel it. <laughs> Man, let's be real, bro. Most of it is, is, is bullshit. But um, mm -hmm. there is good parts about it, getting to create and um, do what you love, like what you grew up doing. It keeps you young and hot. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, definitely need that. You definitely, because these because these young chicks they they be wanting thirty rounds. I'm like, yo, <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm back in the gym doing pushups, b. Yeah, man. <laughs> the days of eating French fries and going at it, it's over, b. <laughs> I was in Twenty One Savage and going, man. Oh, well, I'll tell you why Twenty One. Uh, never mind. Let me not say that. <laughs> <laughs> and King Judge, so Frenchy, man. Let them know yeah. where they can find you at. Let them know the Spotify and everything. King Judge. Throw that in Google, man. Throw it on yeah. Spotify. I got to join out with Styles P. All same shit that's out there. Woo. Doing some numbers. So definitely check that joint out. Man. What was it like working with Styles P before we close out? Because I've been around him. He he different, but he cool. Yeah, exactly. He's um, come from a different club. He's, yeah. he's a legend, so. Of course. It's a, it's a blessing. He definitely is instrumental in um, keeping the energy up. You know what I'm mm. saying? During those hard times, it's like, yo, you're working with legends, so it's like. It should gotta be for a reason. Mm. So, King Jugs right here. This is Fifty. Make sure you hit him on the Spotify. Yo, yeah. let that shit play on repeat, man. This guy's keeping the essence alive. That's My man's so Frenchy. This is Fifty. Bomb.